Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Bootramp and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today I want to do some practice with the Medics and the Grenadiers because I've seen a lot of awesome attacks with them. And before we start, I just want to say that I'm going to be doing a live stream on Camcord. The link is going to be down below on the description. It's going to be super fun to see you guys there that is watching this video right now to hop over to the stream and say hello. Alright, let's not waste any time at all. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys some practice on the NPC basis because I can uh, uh, I can uh, explain you guys on what kind of defensive building you should be taking care of and what you should be paying attention to. Alright, let's head over to this NPC base right here, Geomet Rewards 2. Let's go in and scout. As you see here, there's, uh, there's uh, a lot of defensive buildings here, and the key buildings you should be paying attention to is the boom cannons, the rocket launchers, and the shock launcher. The problem with the boom cannon is that when the grenadiers is inside of the boom cannon ready to toss those grenades, uh, the boom cannon can actually reach out to, to the grenadiers, and that's going to be a problem because the grenadiers don't have a lot of HP, and they basically get one shot, and that means you lose one grenadier, you lose a damage. For the next key defense, it's going to be the rocket launchers. In the real player situation, uh, there's three rocket launchers on the real player. And when those three rocket launchers, or even two rocket launchers, are tossing at the same time on the grenadiers, that's going to be a problem because they are going to be totally wrecking down a bulk of grenadiers. And you cannot afford that when you're using this kind of combo. The next key defense here is going to be the shock launcher. The shock launcher shocks your troop. And the problem here with the shocks, when the shock launcher shocks, the grenadiers grenadiers they're not going to be doing any damage at all and grenadiers is all about damage they need to blast down all the defensive building as fast as they can so let's go ahead and push attack and we're going to be checking out how we're going to be doing this so from what i'm thinking right now i want to take out the boom cannon that's that's a really big threat at the start and i want to take out one rocket launcher and i'll also take down this shock launcher right here so we got like one rocket launcher remaining here that is dangerous and wow, I actually did not take down that shock launcher. And the sniper tower does like a medium damage against the, the grenadiers. But we're going to be checking out what we're going to be doing about that. Alrighty, dropping out the grenadiers using critters right now to distract the sniper towers. The sniper towers can also be a pain sometimes. That is why I'm using grenadiers. And look at that. The sniper tower is doing tons of damage. And I toss the medic to heal up the grenadiers again. And I'm tossing like a uh, shock on the sniper tower on the right and the left side. And look at this. We have everything in control. It's all about controlling the grenadiers, guys. Shocking once again and shocking this. So right now, there's no more threats actually. Because the sniper tower is going down here. I could actually toss a tear shell. And when you do have spare energy, just use it on the buildings that can reach out and do damage to your grenadiers. And look at this, one rocket launcher is not really devastating. Imagine two rocket launchers tossing rockets against the grenadiers. That's going to be a problem. So there we go, Jim at Rewards 2 just went down and those grenadiers totally uh, did a great work. If you can control your grenadiers perfectly, they're really, really awesome to use and it's perfectly possible to take down a full boosted up maxed out real player base if you do know how to use them alrighty so let's find another NPC base we're gonna be going for shocking solution so let's check out the shocking solution so we talked about boom cannons uh, rocket launchers and shock launcher that they are really dangerous uh, on this scenario right here I really want to take care of the boom cannons as fast as I can behind here and I really hope two barrage is gonna be enough it seems like it is not enough. That means I gotta toss a tear shell to clear them out. Okay, two rocket launchers, two shock launchers. This area right here, I can just shock them up without any problems at all. And I could actually take care of this uh, cannons on the right side. And I'll toss another uh, barrage. Because I do have a lot of energy. And remember guys, always use your energy. If you do have a lot, just use them. Do not be afraid to use them. Alright, so I got shocked. That's a no-go. That's really, really bad. Toss in a critter to a step on the mines, because mines are sometimes really, really strong against the grenadiers when they step on many mines together at the same time. Alright, right now there's nothing else that's going to be harming my troop. Flamethrowers are not able to reach out to my grenadiers. Same to the machine gun, but the sniper tower can 
possibly reach out to the Grenadiers. So let's see how far it's reaching now. Now, it's actually not reaching to my Grenadiers. That's cool. And the cool thing, if there's any objects that is in front of the Sniper Tower, the Grenadiers will totally take down the Sniper Tower because the Grenadiers, 80% of the, the tosses, they actually toss like uh, past the building they are actually targeting. That's kind of kind of sick but um th that's like that's like life of a grenadier guys all right shotgun solution just went down right now there we go and we got like uh, uh intel um um uh, victory points some decent amount of resources and what happened i actually just landed here in the sky all right we're gonna be keeping on rocking on the npc base we are doing some grenadier and medics training right now Okay, another shock therapy. I think that was the same base, or it was a shocking solution. All right, this is a, a completely uh, different base, and this is one of the hardest base uh, for grenadiers and medics to take down because there's like a lot of boom cannons, a lot of shock launcher cannons, and a lot of rocket launchers. This is gonna be hard, but it's totally gonna be possible though. All right, so here I want to take out the rocket launchers, and I also want to take out the rocket launchers on this side right here as well. I think this is fine. The cool thing with the, the, the cool thing with the grenadiers, uh, sometimes they're able to out outrange the cannon. That means, whoa, air in my lungs, guys, air in my lungs. Sometimes the cannons are able to reach out to uh, to the grenadiers, but uh, most of the time they're not. So let's check it out, guys. Alrighty, tossing out the grenadiers, and I'm tossing some critters to step on those boom mines because uh, uh, those grenadiers cannot survive a boom mine boom mine blast. Alright, am I? Yep, I'm getting shot here. I'm getting shot. So I'm shocking the cannons on the middle there, and I gotta shock this left side right here and the right side. Okay, perfect. This is perfect. I'm thinking like maybe I should move my troops a bit to the right and toss another shock. Yep, I'll move my, my troops to the right, and I haven't lost any Grenadiers yet. Remember guys, it's really important that you always keep on running with the Grenadiers. If you actually, um, if they spread out too much, make sure you clump them up, because uh, when they're clumped up, the damage is really, really high. All right, tossing some material shells, because we're gonna be finishing this base right now. And uh, I actually thought that I was going to be losing uh, some Grenadiers there, but I didn't lose anything at all. So, as you see, it's all about controlling the Grenadiers, guys. There we go. Shock Therapy just went down. This is the third NPC base we are attacking. And I really hope you guys are finding this uh, uh, informative, because I'm trying my best here to explain you guys how to use the Grenadiers. Alright, over to another NPC base, the Block. Party. The block party got like uh, no rocket launchers, only got like the boom cannons. And that's that's dangerous because they can reach out to the boom cannons. So what I'm doing here on this NPC base, I'm just taking out the boom cannons. The big threats gotta go. If you have problems, take care of your problems right away. Alrighty, let's toss out the grenadiers. And the cool thing with grenadiers, they can they can sometimes be able to clear out the mines that is in front of the object. In this case, I gotta take it out. Whoa, whoa, that was close. That was really, really close. I lost a, a, a grenadier there. That is because I'm not shocking the cannon right now. I'm just making it fire on my grenadiers, and that is bad. That's what I'm talking about when you need to stay focused. You gotta stay focused when you use grenadiers. Is there a cannon that is uh, reaching out to your grenadier? Is there like a uh, boom can reach out to grenadier? Stuff like that. There's so many factors you need to pay attention to when you're attacking with grenadiers. And at the, at the end of this video, I'm going to be attacking uh, a real player base to test out if it's possible to take out a real player base. Well, I know it's possible, but for me, it's kind of hard because I'm not really used to use all the grenadiers and medics. There we go, block party just went down, and now we're going to be heading over to our real player base, and now we're going to be checking out our skills right there. Alright, there we go. So, the uh, the question now, which kind of real player base should I attack? I'm going to be trying to find a base without uh, without a shield generator, and might might be Nick 4 here. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Okay, a shock blaster, that is really dangerous against uh, Grenadiers. Let's check out this one. Mockingbird. What about Mockingbird? Boosted up base. Uh, defensive buildings is Shock blast, Blaster. That's gonna be dangerous. I'm not really that good with Grenadiers, but I'm trying my best here 
to explain you guys on how you can do it. Alright, I think we, we got a winner here. So I'm gonna be attacking this base. And as you see, there's no defensive structure in the, in the uh, start of the beach. There's a rocket launcher here, but that's not gonna be a big problem though. Uh, I'm gonna be taking actually care of the rock those two rocket launchers right here. Wow, did I toss like no it was a shock mine. Alright, that's fine. From here we're gonna be tossing crater boxes and I'm gonna be dropping my troops on the left side here. And then I'm going far far left to wreck the base. Hopefully Well, hopefully the cannon won't be able to reach out. I'm not sure. Yep, I need to shock. It's reaching out. It's reaching out to my grenadiers. So I shock the threat right away. And there's like a... Uh, there's like a shock launcher. They're bugging my troops. And that's a problem. So I gotta shock that uh, shock launcher right there. And one rocket launcher is trying to do damage on my grenadiers. But it's totally not enough damage. Alrighty. I've lost some grenadiers already. I'm trying my best here. Going for the left side. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Tossing some career box now. I gotta toss some career box to prevent damage on my grenadiers. And I'll finish out that shock launcher. Shock launcher is completely shocking my troops. Alrighty. Are we doing this? We might be able to get this, guys. We just gotta take care of this boom cannon really, really fast. Look at this. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Take out the boom cannon. They're missing so much. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how much they are missing. Alrighty. Going for a flare to the left. We're trying to avoid the right side here. We really do not want to fight those two boom cannons down there. And I think we got this base actually. Even though there's like two minutes left and I've lost a decent amount of, of grenadiers, I still think we are able to pull this out. Alright, it tells a career box to uh to uh to uh, to what do you call it? To uh, dislocate, not dislocate, but to distract the sniper tower so my grenadiers can toss and finish out the sniper tower like that. And I think we're fine. I think we're all fine here. There we go. Take out that cannon. Come on. There we go. And we got to take out the sniper tower as well. Go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. Look at how much they miss. It's unbelievable. It is completely unbelievable on how much they are missing. Holy smokes. Alright, repositioning my grenadiers. Hopefully my grenadiers are going for the shield generator. I'm not sure, but I really hope they're going for the... Uh, they're going for the shield generator because this is going to be taking a while if they don't take care of the generator. And it looks like, yeah, I got like one minute though. Maybe I should flare my trip a bit closer. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm actually flaring them a bit closer to take out that shield generator. I, I, we got to take it down. We got to take it down as fast as we can. We don't have time to mess around here. Come on, bros. Come on, bros. You got the generator. So this is a real player base guys, and this is how you, yeah, use the Grenadiers uh, decently. Um, I, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's uh, it's a way of using the Grenadiers, and I really hope you guys are finding this interesting. And if you know a better way to use the Grenadiers, make sure you leave a comment down below on the video, because I definitely want to read about it, because I definitely think it's really hard to use Grenadiers. But if there's any tips around there on the Boom Beach community, make sure you leave a comment down below, guys. I would love to read it. Alright, 40 seconds remaining, and... I'm completely having problems right now. 35 seconds. I'm even not sure if this is going to be possible to blast down. We got 30 seconds left. My grenadiers are completely not doing a great job here. Okay. Oh, let's try to move a bit closer. Come on, guys. 19 seconds left. Come on. Take out that, that HQ now. And I'm getting shocked. I'm totally getting shocked. Come on. 10 seconds. Come on, bros. Nah. Nah, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time, I think. Come on. One more hit. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we gotta, we gotta take down this base. I mean, like, we gotta take down this base. We gotta take down this base. Let's build up the uh, Grenadiers and we're going back in. I gotta take it down before I actually close the video. Alrighty, so let's go. Drop it at the troops. We're doing the same thing here. Tossing crit box right there. And I'll work on this rocket launchers. Hopefully the... Nope, that was not enough. Okay, we are tossing uh, we are tossing a uh, shock on the cannons. I haven't lost any grenadiers yet. That is great. That is really great. Now I'm going to be paying attention to the cannon. Whoop, shock it. 
Shock, shock, shock. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna take care of this cannon on the right side as well. Yeah, we got this. Shock it once again. Come on, bros. You got it. You got it. There we go. Okay, let's do a move. Let's do a move. Let's do a flare. Uh, putting a shock upon the shock launcher and the, the, uh, the, the boom cannon. Come on, bros. Yeah, I think we actually did it much, way much more better right now and that, rather than the first attempt, actually. I think this is definitely a better try. It's a definitely better try. Uh, what about this cannon? Should I take care of the cannon? I'll actually take care of the sniper towers. Flaring my troop to the north side of the base. I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to avoid the cannon because the cannon is actually one shooting my troops. Yeah, this looks very good, guys. I mean, like, this looks very, very awesome. I think we got this. It shouldn't be a problem to rock down this base now. Uh, trying to take down the shock launcher right here. And the damage was not enough. But yeah, look at this, guys. Look how beautiful this is. Let's take care of the uh, the uh, shock launcher. And there we go. And we're taking a closer peek here. Closer to the base. We're going to be doing monster damage right now. Hopefully, we can take down the shield generator and go for the HQ. Wow. It's all about controlling the Grenadiers, guys. It's really all about controlling the Grenadiers. And it's really, really fun. Look at this. Now we're talking some major damage right now. As long as they're bulked up and they're firing on the same target, and they're very close to the building. There's so much more damage. Just look at this. It's beautiful. It is just beautiful how much damage the Grenadiers are actually doing. It's beautiful. Holy moly. Bam! There we go. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be ending this video right now. I hope you guys learned anything and I also learned something as well. And if there's anything you want to actually write to me, make sure you leave it on the comment field down below. And also do not forget to leave a like if you liked the video. Keep on being awesome guys and see you later. Goodbye. Boom.